After more than eight decades in Des Moines, Critch's Piano and Organ Company on 100th Street is closing its doors. Andy Fails has the story. One last song for Critchett's Piano Company. Uh, we asked our kids a few months ago, said, what do you think if we close the family business? And they, I quote, they said, it's about time, Dad. So <laughs> it isn't easy. After all, Dave Brown's family has been in it since 1922, back when Bert Critchett used to sell them right off the trailer. He'd go down the road and a good looking farm that had a swing set out there, he'd pull in and see if they were interested in, in a piano. Dave started working for his grandpa in 1959 and he and his mother later bought Bert out. Business grew. I personally sell probably 30 a month, one a day. In 50 years on the job, Dave guesses he's sold about 25,000 pianos. But he'll be 70 next month and life is changing its tune. We've got four grandkids in Seattle, and we've got uh, two grandkids in New York City, and we're here. The piano business is certainly changing. This was once the centerpiece of home entertainment for families, for parties, and holidays. Well, in this increasingly technological world, that's not the case anymore. Back uh, when I started, we were doing about a thousand units. We're doing about 300 now, and uh, and it's it's still going down. The timing is right, but that won't make this any easier. You can understand. Packing up the pictures on the wall will mean wondering about mom and grandpa, and what they'd think. I really kind of think that they'd say, "Dave, it's time. It's okay." In Urbandale. Andy Fails, Channel 13 News. Critchett's is selling its pianos at 25 to 50 percent off their original, uh, original sale prices, and the store will remain open until they're all gone. Coming up on Today in Iowa Sunday, if you ever wondered what it would take to live in a completely Earth-friendly home, I mean completely,